And we begin tonight at 6, tracking breaking developments in our wildfire watch. Right now, two major fires forcing evacuations in Arizona's high country. Hundreds of firefighters trying to get them under control. This is new video of the tunnel fire burning north of Flagstaff. It has exploded in size, up to 6,000 acres now. And then there's the Crooks fire near Prescott. The winds are so bad here, all air operations to fight it are grounded. We have team coverage for you tonight. Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellens tracking the fire danger. Nicole Grigg is in Prescott, but we're going to start with Luzdalia Caballero live as communities near the tunnel fire prepare to evacuate. Luzdalia. Yeah, US 89 closed in both directions and we continue moving here to give you the very best look of how extensive this fire is and it's spread across several miles. Take a look at this. You can see plumes of smoke kind of billowing uh, behind that mountain there. Crews working frantically to get this fire under control. We're expecting an update on the progress from the Forest Service in about an hour, but we can tell you this is what we know. The fire is rapidly growing because of this wind is, of course, fanning those flames. It was initially at a few hundred acres. Now that has grown to more than 6,000 acres. And in a second here, you're going to look at the evacuation orders right now. The red area where the fire is active right now, the dark yellow shaded area between Campbell and Antelope Hills, east and west of 89, as well as Moon Crater. You are under go orders. That means leave the area now. Areas in bright yellow, that's Antelope Hills, and areas south of Campbell, you are under set in place orders, which means get ready to leave as soon as you get the orders. And take a look at this video. You can really see how close the fire is getting to some homes now. Carolyn Potter sent this to us. She says she's lived in Flagstaff for 55 years and feels like more needs to be done to keep fires like these from spreading. It seems like we go through this every year. The fire, the Forest Service, um, I'm not trying to dog on them, but they need to shut the forest down. In May, they need to close the forest down. I know we're not in May yet. This is really early, but a lot of times they, they've been a little bit uh, uh, slow in doing that and we reap the consequences with the fires. And those winds really getting aggressive at this hour. Again, we're expecting a Forest Service briefing within the next hour, and we will be monitoring it and keeping you up to date with the very latest information, both on air and online at abc15.com. Steve. Thank you so much, Luz Delia. Now to the Crooks fire burning near Prescott. You can see how close this one is getting to some cabins, triggering evacuation orders there. The fire burning in the area highlighted in red on this map. Everybody in yellow being told to evacuate. That includes Lookout Mountain, Mount Triddle, Mount Union, Camp Kippa, Potato Patch, and Breezy Pines. Groom Creek is now on set status. That means be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Let's get to Nicole Grigg now. She picks up our team coverage tracking the Crooks fire tonight. And uh, Nicole, same issues here. The winds and, and trying to just get aircraft and people on the ground and in, the, in place to fight this fire. Forest officials already saying that resources are an issue right now. Now you just talked about Groom Creek. That's about five miles down the road from where I've been doing our live shot. So that area is now on set mode, but uh, a good sign that we're seeing that area that I've been showing you that thick black smoke uh, off in the distance, kind of in the potato patch area. You can see that that smoke has turned white now, which is usually a good sign. Usually it means that we're getting some water on a fire. Um, I can tell you, though, that aerial crews have been grounded because of these strong winds today. Now, the last update on this wildfire, the Crooks fire, was over seven hours ago, and that was up to... Uh, the acreage was up to 750 acres, but that's pretty outdated at this time. Now, forest officials say that they also found a spot fire. It's moving towards the potato patch area, but it's still a good distance away. Now, potato patch, lookout mountain, Mount Triddle, Mount Union, Camp Kippa, all on go status. This means that you are to leave the area. Fire officials say that they did make good progress overnight because of the lower temperatures, but 
it's these 40 mile per hour winds this afternoon that's making this fire move. I can tell you that a type one team has been ordered from California, meaning more specialty crews have been assigned. I spoke with a valley teacher who has a cabin near Potato Patch. She's been watching her ring camera to keep an eye on her property. As of last check, it is still standing. You know, you hope the wind shifts, but at the same time, you're like, if it shifts, then it's going to hit cabins in other areas. And so it's a it's uh, you know, you just feel guilty if your cabin is the last one standing. And everyone who I have spoke with just talks about how this area is such a tight knit area. Everyone looks out for each other. Now, Potato Patch, Breezy Pines, Walker Road, south of Lenox Lake, all on go status. So this means gather your belongings, evacuate immediately. There is a shelter set up at the Yavapai College Gymnasium in Prescott if needed. Again, you can see these gusts of wind that kind of come through. One thing that I have noticed, though, that is important right now is that the temperatures are starting to drop. It's starting to get a little bit cooler out here, a little chilly, so that will help these fire crews who are out there in the Crooks Fire, really rough terrain that they're working with, dirt roads, uh, and they've been working around the clock. We're live just outside Prescott. Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Nicole. The big concern, of course, with these fires, and as always, is the high winds and the weather. Most of Arizona now under a red flag warning, and that means increased fire danger. Chief Meteorologist Amber Sullins tracking that for us tonight. Amber. Yes, Steve, these red flag warnings go for two more hours, so they are across most of the state of Arizona, but at 8 p.m. they will expire. I do not anticipate another round of red flag warnings for tomorrow because winds are looking substantially lighter and temperatures are looking a lot cooler as well, but fire danger is going to remain elevated in a lot of spots through the end of the week, even without those warnings in place. We also, of course, have wind advisory we've been tracking throughout the day across northern Arizona, and those will expire at 8 p.m. as well. In the meantime, we could still see some spots getting wind gust at about 50 miles per hour. Now, at this point, winds coming in sustained at 23 miles per hour in Flagstaff, 18 in Prescott. That is a little bit of a reduction in those wind speeds already from what we showed you at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Those gusts still topping 40 miles per hour, though, in Flagstaff, and right around 26 in the Prescott area. Winds, of course, get a little more erratic, especially near northeast facing slopes because winds are coming out of the southwest right now. So that will force the wind up and over those slopes, accelerating down the northeast side. So that's something we're watching closely. As for tomorrow, breezy conditions in the forecast across northern Arizona, and these are borderline windy conditions, very breezy, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds gust at 35. And for the valley, our winds will get a little bit breezy in the afternoon tomorrow. Same story on Thursday, and then winds pick up substantially across our state once again on Friday.